so apparently even with the Rwanda plans, the measures, the crackdowns, even the detentions, people are still coming. Several, more than 700 people came into the UK on Wednesday through the English Channel in small boats. So what does it tell you? It tells you that some people are defying the odds. It tells you that some people don't even know the new measures. It shows you that some people are not even acquainted with the news. And it shows you that some people are still paying deaf ears. Because it is very clear that people have to do more to enlighten their people. People have to do more to educate their people because some can't even read and write. Some don't have access to the news. Even some, when you tell them what is happening, some will tell you they want to come to see by themselves. Even some, when you tell them that here is not the way you think about it, you don't pick money in the street, some will tell you if it is like that, why are you still there? But with the current crackdowns in, in the UK, in the West, all over the place, what does this show you? It shows you that people should create more forums on social media. People should, within their small circles of friends, family, well-wishers, educate their people, yes, of what awaits them. So some of them will stop selling off their hands, stop selling off their business. Businesses stop selling off their their belongings coming here at the moment in search of better lives because at the end of the day maybe their chances of getting the so-called better life at the moment is not even up to 15 percent out of 100 yes because some of these people they are even doing well in their country of origin it's just because of greed or you might not even say it's totally greed is a human nature that you desire more Yes, some of them, this money they are selling off if they can invest it in their businesses or use it in acquiring more uh, degrees or building themselves up, up, making themselves to be marketable. Some of them can even do far graciously well than coming here. There are people that live in Europe or anywhere in the West that people in Africa are doing far better than them. There are still people that are in this West, their destiny lies in Africa. There are people in Africa, their destiny lies here. Yes. So if your destiny is in Africa, you can live here 20, 30 years, you will not achieve anything. And immediately you get to Africa after a while, things will start falling in place. Maybe in two, three years, what you didn't make in after your 20, 30 years in Europe, you start making it in your country. It might even be that some people are in Africa, no matter what they label, they will never achieve their goal because their destiny lies here. At the right time, they will get their visa, everything will work out peacefully, they will come in here. Within a short period of time, they will achieve things that will marvel people. So we should do more in educating our people, in telling our people what is on ground for the ones that want to hear because some, their ears are blocked. No matter how you preach this gospel, that all that they seem they think here seems like is not the way it is yes money don't grow on trees here as a matter of fact you pay virtually for everything here you pay your salary tax you go shopping you pay for tax everything is being taxed yes what is remaining is for the air you breathe here to be taxed that is the truth but some people in africa don't understand these things